what types of rings as far as material? You mentioned obviously steel rings. Yeah. There's cast iron rings, I guess. Okay, yeah, as far as materials that we work with, yeah. uh, we work, well, let's say from the bottom all the way to the top. Okay. So from a piston ring point of view, there's just gray cast iron, which would be like a, a what's called a CX material spec. Uh, then we move into the ductile irons, which a lot of people refer to as like KV1. Uh, then you've got what are known as the centrifugally spun Martin Sedek hardened ductile irons, uh, which are commonly referred to as MC53 and MC56. These are a better grade of a ductile iron. They will bend, but they don't break. You can twist them. Okay. Uh, and they're very, very tough, very durable. The old, uh, the old Speed Pro Hellfire ring, the old HF479, that was made out of a material called MC56. We manufacture a similar ring to that called our TNT ring. It's a hardened ductile iron ring. It is as well made from MC56. Okay. Very, very tough ring material. Uh, our diesel rings that we produce for all the, the medium duty diesel trucks, uh, your you know, 6.4s, 6.7s, 7.3s, you know, all your, uh, your Duramaxes, we manufacture those rings from MC56, which is a hardened ductile iron. Very, very tough stuff. Thermal conductance is excellent. So, and then we move from those types of materials into the steel world. And we produce rings from 440B stainless steel right. into the carbon families, which are 9254, M2 tool steel. Uh, then we have the exotics that we work with. We work with Inconels and cobalts and stellites and things like that. Now, those are very limited applications, very expensive materials, but we work with those types of materials as well. Uh, we work with a material called Toughnet, made by a company called Materion, which is a, a copper nickel silicon based product. Okay. Uh, very exotic, very expensive, but it has some excellent, excellent thermal conductance characteristics. So we work with a lot of different materials. Apparently, 